Welcome to Larger Dragon. My name is Martha and today I'm going to be making a Valentine's Dragon Crunch. Would you like to know how to do that? Well, we're getting ready to do that right now. Our ingredients are as follows. Two and a half cups of rice chick cereal, half a cup of sunflower seeds, half a cup of pumpkin seeds, half a cup of flaked coconut. I like the coconut crispy chips. You can use the flaked coconut though. One tablespoon of coconut oil. 11.5 ounce bag of white chocolate chips that are allergen safe and some little colored sugar or sprinkles or something that uh, you can use that are allergy friendly and that's pretty much it okay then so this is going to be melted and to melt that this you're going to actually need a bamory or double boiler you know like i said use what you have so i'm making my own bamory double boiler however you want to look at it it is a pot with that's halfway full, full full with water and i've made sure it's nice and boiling you want it, it's not a boring boiling but you want it nice and boiling I'm using a pretty good sized bowl up here so I can mix this all together. Also part of the reason is that way it stays hot down here but I can kind of still grab the sides without it getting too hot. Um, but it still may be too hot for you. Um, I've kind of burnt my fingerprints off over the years so some days my hands are just, eh, I don't feel it and some days I do. So just be careful, okay? <laughs> put the coconut oil in first just so it can start to melt. Okay, so the coconut oil has predominantly melted. I'm going to go ahead and put our chips in. And you want to keep moving this around. Like I said, be careful. This might get hot on you. I have this over medium high heat. And it really doesn't take that long. Okay, and then you pretty much got to make sure it's completely melted down and then you're ready to mix in everything together. Okay, I'm going to grab a towel. I usually grab a bowl to actually put my bowl on top of because the bowl is still really hot. Put half the cereal in to start with. I'm going to put all of the sunflower seeds, all of the pumpkin, all of the coconut, and then the rest of the cereal on top. And then I just mix it. The bowl also underneath helps you keep from uh, moving it all the way around, but it kind of helps keep your bowl in place. Okay, so there you go. You have it pretty much as even as you're gonna get it. I have a parchment paper and a platter right here to put my candy on or my treats. And I usually just scrape it all out. Get all the goodness out. Yum, yummy. I try to spread it out a little bit because I find it easier. And it, you know, it cools off quicker if you kind of spread it out. And then you just get sprinkles that you like. Like I said, I'm just using colored sugar. If you can have like those cinnamon hearts or that kind of thing, that would actually be probably pretty good in it too. Um, we can't, so. We are going to work with what we got and make it pretty with what we got. And you can make this for Christmas, you can make it for whatever, but I like the white chocolate with the, the red. Obviously, if you can eat chocolate, you can make this with regular chocolate or with white chocolate and chocolate and double up the recipe. Um, do half and half or mix it up on top of it and make some good things. So you just let this chill for about four to five hours at room temperature, or you put it in the refrigerator or freezer and cut it down to probably about one to two hours. That just depends on how fast you want to eat it. <laughs> and then you just break it off, break it apart, and you know present it to somebody. But I will show you what the finished product looks like in about four to five hours. I'll meet you back here. Our Dragon Crunch treats are done. These you're just gonna peel right on off. You can break them up a little bit. I have a box so that you can put them in and you can just serve them in doilies is what I usually do I think it's pretty fun so you can just give them as gifts put them in a plastic bag whatever but the most important part and the most fun part is eating them um, it's really good <laughs> mm. okay that wraps it up on the dragon crunch treats uh, go ahead and let me know down in the comments below how would you change this recipe to better suit your allergy needs. I hope this recipe helps you tame your allergy dragon. Okay, then if you like this video, go ahead and hit like for me, subscribe, and ring the bell, and that way you'll get more content from me. And you can follow me on social media, links are down in the description, and I will see you. Bye! More